Fly Lady Ran here. Welcome back to an update about our declutter challenge. Now, if you remember, our declutter challenge was very simple. We were challenging ourselves to declutter at least one item, but only one item was fine, one item per day for 40 days. So, I've made a couple of updates so you saw the things that Fly Lady Emma and myself have been throwing away. I also wanted to say thank you for, to everybody for taking this challenge on board because we had, we've had fantastic results. Uh, the challenge is now finished but you know like the Fly Lady system we can just keep going with it, just do what you can. Uh, if you want to keep on going with this type of, type of decluttering please Go ahead with it. The thing that um, struck a chord with a lot of people is that often we feel that we don't have the energy to declutter. Um, you know, in an ideal world, we would just set our timer for um, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and go in and declutter one shelf. But life isn't like that. And some days we're just not feeling it or we're feeling sad, anxious, depressed. Other days we can have a really good day with decluttering and we can see bags going out the door. The difference with doing this that, that has helped many of you is it takes the pressure off you. We're not saying go and declutter all the children's toys or go through all of your clothes and refold them in a nice way and your life will be fine. We're saying to you it doesn't have to be perfect and just lighten it up a bit. Just, you know, be good to yourself and just take off that pressure and just do one item, just look for one item in your house that you can give away or um, donate and give to a friend or put in the recycling or put in the trash. That's all it was, we were just saying one item. And if you saw the, the earlier videos, you will know that once we actually threw out one piece of paper or one paper clip or one sofa or one bag of old underwear, suddenly we were encouraged to maybe do a bit more. But our rules were that it only had to be one item per day, just at least one item. And if you threw away 40 things one day, the next day you've got to just look for one. That, that way we had very simple rules. So I'm really glad that you enjoyed the challenge. As before, I've got some more pictures coming up for you. So I will talk you through what Fly Lady Emma and I decluttered in our last weeks of the challenge. So just hold on and let me talk you through those. Drum roll, please. So first of all, we start with some clothes. We, we can always find clothes to to recycle or give away. This was a dress that Fly Lady Emma really just didn't think she liked. And also I had a couple of tops that I wore, uh, decided that they really don't suit me. So as soon as they were washed and folded, I passed those on to a friend. So it's always nice to be able to pass them on to someone else. Uh, Fly Lady Emma's husband put up some hooks on the back of their door, so she was able to let go of this over the do door hanger. And actually when she removed that, she decided that the uh, bathrobes that had been hanging on it, they had seen better days, so out they went as well. So that, you know, that's the thing of one item leads to two or three. Um, this I think, oh yeah, this is my husband. He has managed to declutter some of his old suits. We went through some of his clothing. And also I keep a bag actually in the bottom of my wardrobe so that when I go through my clothes, if I find something that I don't want, it goes in my bag and then I go to a clothes swap party with friends occasionally. So that's a few more items for the clothes swap party. And Fly Lady Emma has this lovely dog. Um, he likes to get in the de decluttering as well. And he managed to chew through a cord. So that was an electrical cable that she could let go of uh, this week. Uh, not quite intended, but you know, that's life. Uh, and also Fly Lady Emma's husband, he found another object. I'm not quite sure what this is, but they weren't using it um, so that went out the door as well. Remember, you may have a lot of electrical equipment, computer items, um, you know, 
there's always a, a cable that you can recycle. I had some tea towels to recycle and I've actually used some of them for a painting project just to wipe up spills. And also when I was in the kitchen that week I found some bottles. We used to make our own elderflower cordial. I haven't done that for a while so out those went. And I had a really good session in our um, shed, in our garden shed in Copenhagen. I found a whole load of things that could be recycled or handed on to others. Um, I had a really nice little gardening chair with the Scottish flag on it. But you know what? The, the, the paint is peeling off it and it's got holes in it. So, you know, I said goodbye to it and now it's gone. Um, Fly Lady Emma, she was doing the same. We've obviously had some quite good weather at the start of spring here and it always makes us feel like, you know, you want to clear things up in the garden. So she managed to fill her car full of stuff. And uh, I travelled to Edinburgh to see my mum for a few days and I took a magazine, a couple of magazines with me uh, and I decluttered them, you know, I, I left them behind. And also when I was at mum's house, I couldn't help myself, but, you know, I would find various things uh, small elastics and things and they went out now what is this this is oh yeah it's a sideways view of it but it was a picture that fly lady emma's son um parted with and then i can see i've been working in the bathroom in zone three so i was going through towels i found an old um beach towel fly lady emma found some bits and pieces from a bathroom remodel and I found some old eyeshadows, which were very old, and there was nothing really left in them, so out those went. I've also been down in the cellar in our basement, and I found this bar butler thing that we used once for a party. Um, so I have sold that to somebody else. And Fly Lady Emma found another pair of shoes. She has a, a big shoe collection. She also found some things which had been stuffed in a drawer in the kitchen. And uh, I was also thinking about food and I managed to get rid of another five cookbooks, go me. Don't forget there's clutter maybe in your purse, in your handbag, you know, papers and receipts. Uh, and I got a box of um, Valentine's chocolates from my husband, ate the chocolates and this little tin has now been donated too. So there we have it. That's what we managed to declutter. Plus a lot of other items because, you know, we posted a picture of what we had decluttered and often that day we found something else. Uh, if you would like to join in the challenge, you know, you can start anytime you like. I know a lot of you are going to keep going with the challenge because, you know what, it's just one item per day. We can all do one item, one piece of paper, one paper clip, one pen that doesn't work. Um, a pair of holy uh, gloves, a pair of holy socks, we all have these things lying around. If you can do more than one item per day, that's fantastic, but let's just give ourselves a break. We're, we're not going to, you know, get, get ourselves all upset if we don't find more than one item. Just one and we will see the clutter going out of your, your house and going out of your head as well. So that's it for me, Fly Lady Diane, on the last day of our 40 day declutter challenge. Um, just remember, please, when you're using the Fly Lady system, there's no right, there, there's no wrong way to do Fly Lady. Just do something, okay? So if you are a new Fly Baby, just start with your routines, um, start with the baby steps. If you're completely new to Fly Lady, just start with the 31 baby steps. I walked you through 31 days of baby steps. That's a great place to start. Um, and then after that, you can start adding in all the other parts in the program. But listen, don't worry about those. We're just working on getting rid of clutter and we're doing a little bit of cleaning as well. And that's all it is. We're just making our lives easier, more simple, less work for ourselves. So that's it for me. Fly Lady Diane, thanks for joining in the challenge and uh, yay, go us for getting rid of all that clutter. All right, uh, and remember, if you do any decluttering, make sure you are dressed shoes, boom, 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 that you've done your morning routine and that you just set a timer before you start, okay? And just, just start with two minutes, 
and see how much I can get done. Okay, that really is it for me this time. Okay, Fly Lady Diane uh, back in Denmark and I shall see you very soon. Live long and prosper. Bye for now.